So we do display, and I don't want to say just banners because while while we are interested in you know standard IAB sizes, we also try and engage with Rising Star and Rich Media and high impact units as, insofar as we can get them programmatically because we find that there's just a much better response rate, much better brand lift, and video has been exceptional in moving the needle on brand recognition, brand affinity. Um, so we do both of those things. And we're very focused on premium content as well. Um, we're not just concerned about brand safety. I think that's a baseline that every brand must adhere to. But we're concerned about quality. So no long tail sites, no mom and pop shops, nothing with lots of ad clutter. If we're going to be seen as a premium brand with award-winning original content, we need to be surrounded by content that is of equal value. Video programming today is evolving. We do have opportunities to be on quality inventory with our pre-roll content, but I do run up against a lot of issues with availability of that content. Um, and there are still issues where we find ourselves occasionally in 300 by 250s audio play, uh, autoplay, and that's not, that's not a space where we want to play. And when I approach um, publishers, premium publishers, about their video content, I find that a lot of it is already monetized and that they're not really putting it out there programmatically. Um, but they should know that Netflix would invest heavily in getting that up front and making sure that we're present on their content. Um, and insofar as linear is concerned, I'm really excited about programmatic in general because of the data that we get to use, because we can be specific, because marketing shouldn't be about some blanket approach to any user that's out there with eyes, but I want to have a conversation that's unique to each individual. So if I know that someone is interested in documentary, I want to serve them that creative. If someone's interested in the value that Netflix brings because of a uh, pretty affordable price point, then I want to speak to them with that message. And so linear TV, I think, presents a great opportunity in reaching a broad swath of people that are definitely going to enjoy the product that Netflix has, but if we're allowed to do it in a programmatic way that leverages data and it's, and it's very addressable in that sense, then we can make uh, consumers uh, viewing more interesting because the advertising is relevant and it's better for us because the conversation is complete. It's a perennial question and it's something we ask ourselves. We're in the middle of a DSP evaluation now and I think it's been really enlightening for our partners as we tell them what we need and for us as partners let us know where their roadmaps are headed. There is benefit to unified platform because operational efficiency exists. Cross device tracking is feasible. Measurement makes more sense. Uh, all of these things are benefits, but when we're talking about a space as complex as programmatic, it's difficult for someone to be good at every facet of it. I'm not sure that we as a marketer would benefit from sticking with one platform if they're not truly the best in each case. Um, so it's about weighing that stack benefit and uh, individualization and unique value propositions. I think uh, when there are 3,000 different, different companies in this space, it's very difficult for us to get to hear the value proposition. So it's important that each, each company that's coming out can speak to that and be clear about it because we're interested in hearing. And I'm fine working with a, a new company if they truly have something exciting to offer the space. They just need to be loud about it.